video today, I'm going to be talking about a very serious subject, and that is going to be gun control. Um, I said that really fast, but yes, I'm going to be talking about gun control today, and that is because I, I like to think of myself as an independent, um, which, if you guys don't know what that means, is I take shots and support things from both sides of the political, both, both political parties, like on the conservative side, or the Republican side, for those of you who don't know what conservatism is, um... It's ba I, I support I highly support gun control, um, and the and on the liberal slash democratic side I strongly support net neutrality, because that is a good thing. But we're not talking about net neutrality today. We're talking about guns, and that is that that that's because it's a very high subject right now, and it's the this video is not going to be so much about guns themselves because I think most people know enough about well I won't say that because part of this video is going to be the liberal is not mainly well yeah mainly the liberal media using their extremely extremely I cannot stress enough extremely limited knowledge about guns to boost ratings and push their agendas and all that bullshit because I I can't stress enough that the liberal media are complete and total dumbasses, dipshits, idiots when it comes to guns. Because whenever something like this, whenever something like in Florida happens, part the majority Douglas High School, majority Stoneman Douglas High School shooting, 17 people killed, massive tragedy. The, no more than an hour to two hours after it started, after it happened, they, the CNN immediately started talking about gun control. Like, can we not give people time to process what just happened? Can we not give families time to realize that their kid, their, their child isn't going to come home to them anymore? Is that not a thing we can do? Or is you getting rid of guns more important than the safety of children? I haven't graduated from high school for almost three years now. So, when shit like this happens, it's terrible. I mean, we've all gone to high school. Well, maybe not all of us. Some of us probably dropped out of high school. But when something like that happens at high school, at, at any school, then it's terrible. But that doesn't mean we should go right to, like, if a shooting happens at a school, it doesn't mean we should go right to, oh, we need to ban all guns, or we need to ha get rid of what they're calling assault-style rifles, or assault-style weapons, and we don't need to push that immediately after, like, after the Sandy Hook shooting. <laughs> Ma another massive tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. People, they immediately started talking about gun control. It's maddening that we have to go. That the media thinks that the only way to do th to push their agendas and boost ratings and watch watch times and whatnot is to talk about something that. Is to talk about a tragedy and then push their agendas while that tragedy is still taking place or right after that tragedy still took place. You know? Like, if one of my friends got hit by a car from a drunk driver, I'm not going to immediately go out and start protesting that we ban cars or that we ban alcohol. Right? I'm going to want to... I'm going to sit there and process what happened i'm gonna mourn my friend i'm I, i'm gonna then i'll go out and be and then maybe i'll be like okay we need to do something about this right i'm not gonna immediately like go, i'm not gonna go and hunt down every car salesman and car dealership in the world and be like, okay look you guys killed one of your cars killed my friend and i think you should stop selling the car. Right? That's not... That's not how things work. 
Because like cars, like guns, like a knife, those are merely tools in these types of incidents. And it's... It's mind-boggling that people went... Okay. So, when a shooting... Ha when, when... Okay, well, let's not start with that. When, a, when somebody... when Like I said, somebody gets hit by a drunk driver. Nobody blames the car immediately. Nobody blames the car at all. They blame the drunk driver. When somebody gets stabbed, they don't blame the knife. They blame the person who stabbed them. When somebody hangs themselves, morbid, I know, but when somebody hangs themselves, they don't blame the rope. They blame the person who hung themselves. But when somebody goes and shoots up a school, or a nightclub, or fucking a music concert, like what happened in Las Vegas, they blame the gun immediately. They don't blame the shooter. And then, and then the liberal... The, any li just about every single liberal that talks about this always has this one always has one one point I mean they have a shit ton of points that they try to make and end up getting shot down immediately which we'll talk about later but when somebody when they talk about shit like gun control like what happened to, the latest example like I said the Florida the Florida high school shooting 17 people are dead. And people are blaming the gun. Nobody's blaming the fucking shooter. Like, there are no liberals blaming the sh well, There probably is, but I have not heard a single liberal that I have talked to blame the shooter. They blame the gun. Their point is always, well, if he didn't have, a if he wasn't able to purchase the gun or have access to the gun, it wouldn't have happened. Bull fucking shit! The dude was on the FBI's radar. They've got numerous tip. The police there got numerous tips about this guy, and they did nothing. And the, the this guy clearly had a mental health issue. And when conservatives and when, when Republicans and independents like myself point that out, every liberal states, "Oh, well, when it's a terrorist attack, like when some when a, when a Muslim shoots." people up or blow someone up it's never a mental health issue no that's because it's a fucking terrorist attack that is something that their religion is telling them to do it's not a mental health issue it's their religion do i agree with it no do i like it no do i wish they would all die in a bottomless pit with fucking hungry tigers or sharks with lasers on their head yes but that doesn't mean they have a fucking mental health issue that just means they're slightly they might be slightly confused or they're just doing what their religion is telling them. They're not, they don't have a mental health issue. They're being brainwashed by that religion to go out and kill people. That doesn't, like I said, that doesn't mean they have a mental health issue. But for some reason, when somebody, when the shooting happens, they blame the guns and say, oh, we need to, we need to ban all guns or we need to have more restrictions on who can buy guns, raise the age on who can buy fucking guns. It, that's that's all it is. It's the gun's fault. It's never the person's fault. And how people are blaming the fucking NRA for this. Like, did they give him the gun? No, they didn't give him the gun. They don't make the laws on how old you have to be to purchase a gun. That is the government. The NRA, or the National Rifle Association, are just merely are advocates and they help with that stuff. They help put regulations on weapons. They help ban certain parts of weapons to make them not as deadly. They 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 help ban certain weapons, like fully automatic weapons. They're not allowed in this country. You can't legally purchase a fully automatic weapon. Illegally, yes, people do it all the time. Legally, no, you can't. So... It's, I, I just, I, just, I don't know. I don't know why people immediately blame the gun for something in that situation and not the shooter. It's, uh, it hurts my brain. Um, honestly, it does. Uh, while I feel and, well, I feel 
uh, what's the word I'm trying to think? What's the word I'm trying to think of? While it's a terrible thing that that happened to people and they won't see their children anymore, those of you them who don't see their children anymore, I am sorry. My thoughts go out to you guys. Um, my good wishes, my well wishes. Um, I hope things get better for you guys. But it's, I don't know, it's just, it just hurts my brain that people would blame the gun for something that the gun had no control over, right? And now, what blows my mind even more is that companies like Dix and Walmart are raising their prices to buy AR-15s, specifically AR-15s, which we'll get to in a little bit, to 21, which, may I remind you, is illegal. You cannot, as a company, legally raise the price of a of the ability. You cannot raise the raise the price. You can raise the price of your company, but you cannot legally raise the age limit of a gun, like for you to be able to buy a gun to 21 from 18. You can't do that because. Like I said, that's illegal. That is a federal law. You are legally, because of the federal law, you are legally allowed to purchase a gun at 18. We'll purchase uh, an AR-15 at 18. That is the law. You cannot legally raise that age to 21. And in order to do that, you would have to go through all these systems, which would have to go... It's just a massive, massive thing. <laughs> That you would have to go through. Now, can they go through it? Yes, they can. Have they gone through it? I don't know. Most of the time, they don't release those inf that information. Um, but there are people who are like, there's obviously people who are against this. I'm against it for Christ's sake. And there's actually a lawsuit. I can't remember the guy's name. It's I think it's a class action lawsuit. Uh, this guy's suing Walmart. For age discrimination. Which, it's true! It is age discrimination. You are purposely not allowing somebody who's the age of 18. A legal adult, mind you. You are allowed to drive at 18. You are allowed to buy cigarettes at 18. You are allowed to do all of this shit at 18. But when it comes to guns, they raise it to 21 because 18-year-olds aren't grown up enough to know not to go and shoot up a fucking school. Are you shitting me? I'm 19. I have guns for Christ's sake. I have never thought about going to the local elementary school and shooting them up. Hell, the high school is right next to them. I haven't thought about going there either. And I fucking went there for four years straight and I hated it. But never once have I thought about, hey, I'm going to bring my gun to school and just shoot everybody. I have never thought that. Now people are blaming video games for it. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto since the fucking game came out. Right now, I'm playing Just Cause 3, a game where they want you to blow shit up. They want you to shoot people. I play Call of Duty. Hell, I own a goddamn Call of Duty team. Yet, I haven't gone out and shot anybody. I haven't gone out and shot up a school. I have not gone out and purposely killed a man because of those video games. I have not gone out and purposely killed somebody because I am 19. In one of the... It, it's it's literally age discrimination. You you're saying that 18 and 18 19 and 20 year olds aren't mature enough to not go out and use common to go out to use common sense and not go out and fucking kill people with a gun. It I, I don't understand that concept. Like hell at 21 you can drink. That means at 21 your your chances of killing somebody drunk driving drastically changes. From under 21. Because guess what? It's illegal to drink under 21. It's illegal to drive, drink and drive, even at any age. But people still do it. But I don't see anybody banning cars. I don't see anyone banning alcohol. You know? So why is that any different with guns? Drunk drivers have killed more people in this country just this year than guns have. People have killed, there have been over 
I think the number I saw was over 3,000. There was over 3,000 drunk driving accidents where somebody died just this year. And people are saying that there's been 18 school shootings in just this year. Which is false, by the way. Those numbers are counting accidental firings from the officers that work there. You know, the parole, not the parole officers. The, uh, just, just the guards there, technically. People, they're counting suicides. They're, they're counting all of this shit as school shootings. But in hindsight, there have only been three mass school shootings this year. Now, should that happen? No, it shouldn't happen. Nobody, nobody should go to school thinking, oh, I might get shot today. No one should. But fudging the numbers isn't helping. Fudging the numbers is playing to people's fears. And that's what the media is doing. The liberal media, to be more specific. They are fudging the numbers to make, to, to play on people's fear of, of guns. They want, they're the ones making people scared to go to fucking school every day. Right? People are blaming conservatives and Republicans and gun and pro gun gun advocates and gun owners for their children being scared to go to school thinking, oh, I might get shot today. I don't want to go to school. Yet CNN and MSNBC, ABC News, extremely liberal news web news outlets. They are the ones Watching the numbers to make it seem scary. Is it scary? Yes. Like I said, no one should have to go to school with fear that they could get shot. Right? But it's the liberal media using fake numbers. Technically, they're not fake. They're literally fudging the numbers and playing to people's fears, making people scared to go to school, which are making all of these teenagers who might i add should not have a i should not have their hand in politics whatsoever considering two three months ago they were reading fucking tide pods i refuse to take any political advice from somebody who ate a fucking tide pod all right if you're dumb enough to eat a tide pod you're definitely not smart enough to talk about gun control you are definitely not smart enough to be talking about politics all right Hell, most of the people that are talking about it can't even vote. Alright? Which is another thing you can do at 18, believe it or not. It's weird, right? You can pick the you can pick the next leaders of our nation, but God forbid you own a gun at 18. Fucking stupid. People are idiots. Mental health is an issue. Terrorism is an issue. Guns, they're not an issue. People have been saying that guns have been an issue for a while now. And that's just not true. Considering that oh, like 75% of, of this country's population owns a gun, whether it be a rifle, whether it be a pistol, who knows? But about 75% of the people in this country own a gun. And it's, uh, it's weird how this country can still exist with that many people owning a gun. Because if what liberals are saying is true, then this country should have been fucking wiped out years ago. Because that many people with a gun. So I think there's like 500 million people, somewhere around that, probably less, in the United States. If 200 to 300 million of them own a gun then how then they this country wouldn't stand a chance against itself like not to mention most of those people 
our military, they're trained to use that gun. A lot of these people go to gun schools, schools, classes. They become really well trained with that weapon. They could use that weapon for damage. But guess what? They haven't. Because those people have what's called common sense. Those people don't have mental illnesses. Those people don't... They're just not idiots. They're not idiots. They know if they go go out into... Go into a school and start shooting up. They're going to fucking die. They're not going to... It's not... They're not going to win that. Hell. Most of them probably just have a gun for home protection. Right? No, I mean, there's, there's plenty of people who use it for sport. There are plenty of people who use it for hunting. There are plenty of people who use it for other reasons that I'm not going to get into. I mean, hell, some people just use it to take them apart and put them back together again. Shit like that. It's, it, it's, it's uh, like I said, it's just a tool. A gun is just a tool that could be used in tragedies like this. Hell, in f people are saying, uh, I saw a video, uh, I saw a picture the other day posted by Occupy Democrats some, in a extremely far left, an alt left fucking uh, media site. Not even a media site, they're a fucking Facebook page. Like, I mean, they're a Facebook page, they're Twitter page, they're, they're, they're extremely far left that's all i have to say they posted a picture slash meme that basically said th it, it, it gave an example of a guy went into a school with a knife and the students threw backpacks at him and there was no one who died he, and now that guy's getting help yet in china Someone stabbed 110 people, killing 50 of them, and injuring the rest. Like, that person st in China stabbed the same amount of people that was killed in America's most deadly mass shooting, the, Ola the Orlando nightclub massacre. So, that just, it just proves... And no matter where you are, no matter what laws you have, shit like this can happen with anything. I could go up and fucking bash somebody in the head with the golf club. And then I can do it to the next person, and the next person, and the next person until somebody stops me. So that, bring, that brings me to my next point, that there is no such thing... As assault rifles. And well. I'm not going to say that. Because when you. Assault is a verb. If I went out and beat the shit out of people with golf clubs. With a golf club. That would be an assault golf club. If I went and beat somebody up with a bat. That would be an assault bat. If I went and shot somebody. That would be considered an assault gun. Like if I went out with an AR-15 and shot somebody in the face with it, that would be considered an assault rifle because I used it to assault somebody. That's why when you go up, that's why when you just start beating the shit out of somebody, it's called an assault. Right? So, we all technically, if we're going by liberal logic, we all have assault weapons with us. Our hands. We can headbutt people, we can kick people. We can knee people, elbow somebody. It there's, like I said, assault is just a verb. It's not. It, it can't be used to describe something, you know. So. It. It's weird. That, because it's as if none of these people who say that they're assault rifles, are. Uh, they, uh, it's like they never finished elementary school. Because that's what I learned. That's where I, I learned what a fucking verb and a noun was back in, like, first and second grade. So, I mean, like, that shit hasn't left my brain. It hasn't. 
I mean, as much as the, as much shit they crammed in me throughout my time in school, I haven't lost anything from it. <laughs> like, I haven't forgotten anything. I mean, I might have forgotten how to do, like, double or triple equations or whatever, but, you know, it's whatever. But... It's that one. Uh, that was random. I don't know why I said that, but it's uh, there's no such thing as an assault rifle unless it's used to assault because that's it's a the assault is a verb, and until it's used to assault, it's just a rifle. It's just a gun. It's just a golf club. It's just a bat. You know. It's not you. It's not a description word. It's, I'm sorry, it's not. It's an action word. I can't describe somebody as an assault. I can't go up to one of my friends and be like, Hey, what's up, assault? Or, hey, you're a pretty good assault, you know? No, that's not how language works. I'm sorry. It, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not how language works. I apologize. It's not how language works, though. Um, and but my my final point I want to get to is that liberals don't know shit about guns. I mean, like I said at the beginning of this, liberal media sites are have got to be the dumbest people in the world. Like, I'm sorry, but they are just fucking dumb. I mean, CNN had a story where they had the so-called uh, military gun expert. I can't remember his rank. I think it was like a lieutenant general or a major general, some shit like that. I can't remember. I was laughing my ass off the entire time. But he, <laughs> he didn't hit a fucking single thing. He said that it was a military style white rifle or weapon and my best part he said that he could turn the AR-15 into fully semi-automatic into full semi-automatic which if you don't know is not a fucking thing it does not exist there's no such thing as fully semi-automatic you've got fully automatic and semi-automatic single shot there's a lot of bullets. Like, the difference is semi-automatic. You have to pull the trigger constantly in order to get the bullet to shoot out. With fully automatic, you have to... You can just hold down the trigger and it'll just keep firing until you're out of ammo. Alright? That's the difference. There's no such thing as fully semi-automatic. I don't even know how that would fucking work. Like, you hold down the trigger, one bullet comes out, you wait, like, in a minute, another one comes out, you wait a minute, another one comes out. Like, the best, one of the best parts, was, <laughs> that, that was the best part. Another good part was when, after he said that, he went to shoot the gun, fully semi-auto, full semi-automatic, and he still had to constantly pull the fucking trigger! Like, he was still rapidly pulling the trigger... To be able to shoot the gun. Like, I guarantee you if he pushed, the, if he pulled the trigger once and held it there, one bullet would come out. That is it. <laughs> and then, I think it was NBC who showed a video saying, who had a video playing saying, look, they said, look at what, they had a gun, they had like a gun control special or some shit going on that day. And they're like, look at the damage in AR-15 can do to a watermelon and the dude pulled out a fucking shotgun they shot him with a shotgun and of course the fucking watermelon exploded it's a shotgun and I, I as you can see this subject gets me very wound up because i hate it when you've got liberal news sites thinking they know everything you have the liberal media thinking they know everything that and then, when, and then they don't, they don't, they just don't, they don't know shit. 
They take tragedies and try to turn them into ratings. They take tragedies to push their own agenda. Right? It. Uh, I, uh, my brain is exploding here. Some of you may not agree with me, but Jesus fucking Christ. If you think that there is such a thing as full semi-automatic, if you think that that gun showed on NBC was an AR-15, unsubscribe now. We do not need your mental capacity dumbing the rest of us out. I apologize, but I am not sorry at the same time because I don't... I, I, uh, <laughs> I can't even get words out because I'm so wound up by the subjects and just how dumb the liberal media is. I saw a video the other day where this guy, he went out into, he, he's a pretty big conservative channel. I can't remember his name. Um, it was Steven something. He was like, he's the guy, he's basically the guy behind the change my mind meme. Um, Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder. He made a video uh, a, we a few weeks ago where he put up a tent and had a banner in the background that said common sense it was like community for common sense gun control or something like that and he basically had a bunch of guns laid out on a table there was like an uzi there was some hunting rifles there was an ar-15 there was an ak uh um, there's some pistols he had the magnum um can't remember what other weapons he had there but uh he did all this and he basically mocked liberals and gun control advocates by basically he basically did what they do which is they deny anybody who has owned a gun or owns a gun or has ever or knows anything about guns to be able to talk to them because they know they'll get proved wrong but when somebody who doesn't know anything about guns comes along they're happy to talk to them about how scary guns are they're happy to talk to them about how guns should be banned you know and basically the purpose of it was he had all these guns laid out he had rifles and what he had rifles laid out shotguns he had all this stuff laid out and he had people point to them. He, one, of the, one of the first things he did was ask people up to where they're comfortable people of guns people having. And just about every single one of them went up until the AK. So, and the, the, the biggest thing was, was that all, most of the guns before that were wooden. Like, not wooden, like, fake, but they had wooden... They, they, they were basically hunting rifles. They had wooden stocks and all that. And a lot of people say that that makes things less... They, they look less threatening. But the thing is, they're just as threatening as the metal guns that look like military guns. Which, by the way, they are not military guns. The AR-15 has never been used and never will be used in the military. Right now, the military's gun is the M4, but that's besides the point. The uh, it, basically people were more people were saying that people shouldn't have guns metal the metal guns that look threatening and dangerous, as opposed to the wooden the one the guns that were that had wooden on them and whatnot that look like harmless hunting rifles, like that's all they can be used for is hunting. And they, it, it, it's, it blows my mind how dumb these people were. Like, any, even anybody with any common sense at all would know that no matter how, what the gun looks like, it can still kill somebody. It can still hurt you. You know, I mean, like, like the, the Orlando nightclub shooting, the deadliest mass shooting in United States history. It was done by a pistol. Yeah, they found an AR-15 in there afterwards. 
there's no evidence to support that the, that the dude used it. You know? All the deaths were caused by that pistol. And that is one of the reasons why the pistol's age is raised up to 21. Or is 21. But we talked about that already. I guess... I guess what I'm trying to say is don't talk about guns unless you know about guns. Alright? Liberal news... Liberal media's liberal media's websites in general liberals in general unless you know about guns from on behalf of all of the guns gun owners and gun advocates pro gun advocates in the country in the world please shut the fuck up learn something about guns before you start talking about guns don't say a shotgun is an AR-15. Don't say an AR-15 is a military weapon. And please, for the love of God, and I don't even believe in God. I'm not an atheist. I'm just not religious. But please, for the love of God, let people realize the situation. Please, the people mourn the dead before you start spieling off about guns are bad okay and this is to everybody in the United States conservative liberal fucking independent hell the green party please don't take political advice from kids who from the generation that were eating fucking Tide Pods two months ago alright cause that's not the sort of mental capacity we need in this country okay I'm not saying kill those teenagers I'm not some of you may twist my words and say I am but I'm not I'm saying it right here I'm not saying we should kill teenagers cause that's illegal all I'm saying is that if you're eating a Tide Pod you've ate, eaten a Tide Pod, if you ever thought about eating a Tide Pod, you do not belong in politics. You do not need to be trying to convince full-grown adults with common sense, the common sense not to eat Tide Pods, that their politics are wrong. You are not currently in a position to be trying to make accusations or politicize things that you don't know about. Okay? I know that the liberal media and most liberals have got that generation in the palm of their hands. Because that generation, it's easy to convince them what's good and bad. It's easy to convince them what's right and what's wrong. It's easy to scare that generation. But me and my generation, we're not so easy to scare. Okay? You can fudge your numbers all you want. You can give as many examples as you want. The point is, you're not going to scare me. You're not going to scare anybody else that's pro gun. You're not. I'm still going to walk outside happily. I'm still going to take my guns to the gun range and shoot them. I'm still going to go hunting. And I'm still going to do anything that I want. That in, that's obviously within the law. Now this may sound like I'm conservative. I'm not. I am an independent. But when shit like this happens, when people talk about subjects they have no clue about, that pisses me off. Because then, not, not only do they make themselves look like idiots, but they make 
the people they're going up against look like assholes. Okay. Because just because somebody knows more about a, t a subject than you doesn't mean they're an asshole. When they prove you wrong, doesn't mean they're an asshole. When they get something right that you got wrong, doesn't mean they're an asshole. If they know more about a subject than you do, they're not an asshole. Okay? So, that ends this almost hour-long spiel about guns. Uh, we are literally 20 minutes away from one hour. I could make this go an hour if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to because that would be chaotic and stupid. It's just like the liberal media. That's another thing I hate is the liberal media, but that's a different video. So with that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope that you guys did enjoy. And if you don't enjoy, if you disagree, if you agree, post in the comments below. I'd love to have a discussion with you. Not an argument, a discussion. Because I like having discussions and not arguments. Unless the person I'm having a discussion with is a complete and total idiot. Then I'll argue your point because you're an idiot. So yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is, as always, Cool Gamma Jamma. And I'll see you guys later. Stay cool, Jammas. See ya.